Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Bible. I'm Sonny Chowns. Well guys, it's time for another entry into the Judah Journal. I call this one Judah and the Mud Puddle. What little guy has not enjoyed throwing rocks in the water? Now, I don't know. But I'll tell you, my little guy loves it. Hey, Judah, can you say hi to everybody? Hey, now, what are you doing? Are you getting some more rocks? Are you going to throw some more in there? All right. Um, Won't mom be proud when she sees you covered in mud? What a great day that'll be. What is it about water, mud puddles, and children? I don't know, but it's great. Jeremiah chapter 51, 63 through 64a. When you finish reading the scroll, tie a stone to it and throw it into the Euphrates. Obviously, you see the connection I'm trying to make here with Judah and playing in the mud puddle. Uh, throw it into the Euphrates, then say, so will Babylon sink to rise no more. I guess uh, the thing that I take away from this is uh, the use of correction correctly. In fact, let's just get right to the uh, the make it real idea for today is communicate correction correctly. Because when you do that, then obviously what you are trying to present to your child or whomever it may be is going to uh, have its greatest effect. Three things happen in this passage with regards to Jeremiah. He's obviously presenting a a statement, a, a, an education moment, a prophecy of doom uh, toward these individuals. And yet I think we can draw three things with regards to effective communication here with our children or whomever we're trying to correct. So communicate correction correctly. Number one, it says that when you finish reading the scroll, and so uh, the first thing with regards to correction is that you need to give a reasonable opportunity for the person to actually hear that there's a problem, uh, to be confronted with the fact that uh, you need to change. Uh, repentance has to happen, whatever it may be. So he says, when you finish reading the scroll, uh, this also, uh, it satisfies the justice of God as far as the passage is concerned, and it satisfies the justice of a parent or uh, the person who is in control of the situation in that they didn't just spring this on a person. It's not like it snuck up behind them. Uh, you were given fair warning. And so in correcting correctly, number one, you need to make sure that you give every opportunity for the person who's being corrected to hear. Number two, it's interesting that it says, okay, then tie it to a stone, throw her into the Euphrates. Well, that's, you know, pretty obvious uh, illustration, isn't it? Well, that's the point. The second thing I would say to you with regards to this make it real application of this passage is when offering correct correction, you need to illustrate the obvious application. And of course, Jeremiah does that here, you know, that uh, as he ends this thing, this whole idea that that uh, Babylon's going to sink. Well, you throw that rock out into the water and you blah, 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 you know, and, and it, it is gone. And so much like Judah likes to play in the mud puddles, throw rocks in, whatever it may be, Jeremiah was illustrating that. And so if I were needing to correct Judah, for instance, I could actually say to him, you know, uh, I've got a message for you, but it's almost like you're throwing it into the mud puddle. You, you don't even care and it's, it's gone because you're not paying attention. And then number three, he says, then say to them the warning, the conclusion, the idea that the Euphrates is going to sink. The, the third make it real principle here is that you need to repeat with ominous emphasis. Kind of hard to say, ominous emphasis. So after you have given them the opportunity to hear, and then you've made a obvious illustration of what's going to happen because they're not hearing, then he says, repeat it. And repeat it with ominous emphasis, it seems. And in so doing, you will be able to say at the end of the day that you corrected correctly. Now, obviously, there's a whole lot of other principles that need to be applied with regards to parenting and correcting a child and all of those kind of things. But these three things I find to be uh, very basic and introductory, if you will, to the correction process. 
And so much like Jeremiah corrected those individuals by giving them opportunity to hear, read the scroll, illustrating it by tying it to a rock and throwing it into the Euphrates, and then saying in a rather obvious manner, ominous application, same thing that happened to that rock and the scroll, going to happen to Babylon. See, he, he communicated correction correctly, and we as parents, we need to do so as well. All right, well, there's your Judah uh, journal moment, much like he likes to play in those mud puddles. I guess Jeremiah, I don't know that he liked to, but I, Jeremiah had an opportunity in the past to throw him in a rock into the midst of the water. Interesting passage. Till next time, I'm Sonny Chow saying be there, Matthew 16, 26. We are the Sonny Childs and Family Ministries, serving as missionaries to this great nation. Please pray for us and consider adding us to your missions giving.